Satsang. Tunisia, November 1, 2019. Testimonies, Questions and Answers. We were always dominated by the punishment circuit, always, always, always. On the other hand, the experiences that were made in different countries of the world show that for a true mystic or someone who was authentic, the reward circuit became superior to the punishment circuit. And at that moment, it becomes so easy, because there is no self-judgment, there is never self-judgment. And what is called the inner child is that. That is the moment, you do not even think about judging anything, that is, you are so immersed in the present, in the presence, that you call it as you wish, as circuits that are always active in a lambda human being, who is still a character, remember, this is the punishment circuit. We are constantly subject to this punishment circuit, and we will always look for what we call psychology, gratification. We know, for example, look, you want to buy a car, you think, so if you're a man, you'll see the body, engine power, well, all mechanical things, but you never buy a car for that, even if you think you bought it for that. We will buy a car where the smell, and the use smells, will bring us happy memories of childhood. Which? Gingerbread, hot chocolate, snack time, clean clothes that smell fresh, that we have all these memories in us, that are at the limit of consciousness, and unconsciously, we will seek, even in a purchase decision, even in an effective decision, which will take us back to where we were, how to say, where we were before this notion of discrimination and judgment. The human being is a being of judgment, because one is always subject to this circuit of punishment. But when the awakening phase appears, and there I speak neither of energy nor of vibration, I speak of the intimate mechanisms of the brain, which will begin to replace the circuit of punishment with the circuit of reward. That is to say that the good star becomes more active than the bad star, the two stars that were there, and well, at that moment, as I said yesterday, it becomes so natural and spontaneous that it returns us to the child situation. And there everything is illuminated. As Baidu told us all the time, when he was incarnated, to try to remember, before three years, before two years, some elements of our life, which we all have, is the moment we were innocent. That is, the reward and punishment circuits did not take the typical characteristic of all human beings, who are automatically dominated, without realizing it, by the punishment circuit. And that is fundamental. Because as soon as this reversion of value takes place, there is no longer a punishment circuit, it is no longer active, simply. That is, we cannot judge ourselves, we cannot judge. Again, it is not immoral behavior, it is a reversion of the relationship of values, where at the time, as we have been told, fear can no longer exist, suffering can no longer exist, pain, yes. But more suffering is not the same, it is only obliged to, as I have explained many times, in the first place the explosion, that is precisely the breaking of the myth of individuality, and that again, who can say what he wants, individuality does not exist, it is only a neural construction, there is no individual, there is life as we say, but it is fully explained in neuroscience. 1. Break the myth of individuality and 2. The punishment circuit is replaced by the reward circuit. And in addition, there is a union in the prefrontal cortex, here, in the centers of decision and cognition, which are at the level of the prefrontal cortex, which are systematically active. That is, as soon as the myth of individuality explodes, it is necessary to know that it is this feeling of individuality that is responsible for the judgment, it is a neuronal anomaly, really and concretely, and it is what is now systematically achieved in neuroscience, that is, in behavioral neuroscience and in the so-called spiritual neuroscience, that is, neurotheology. So, like it or not, from the moment that this constitution is really on the hard drive that is the brain, well, of course, when we exploit the myth of individuality, there are only two neurons that leave this nucleus of individuality, which is called the central thalamus, they have two fibers, two axons and only two, which point to the prefrontal cortex. And we are constantly fed, without knowing it by our own will, as long as we are normal by this circuit of punishment and by the denial of life. That's where fear comes from.
And as soon as I am awake, as soon as there is a change in conformation and programming, the myth of individuality explodes, and we know that we can do it with magnetic fields, with theogons, with many things that have been done in other places. I have spoken of this, for example, Iboga, DMT, Salving or Ine, of which he had spoken for a long time, magnetic fields can also completely destroy this illusion. And that is exactly, that is, from the moment we accept, we no longer consider ourselves as individuals, even if we do not see it, we leave, and that is the principle of acceptance, that is, what is called not judging, but the notion of not judging is like what is called non-duality. By putting a denial before a word, the brain does not recognize it, I explained it extensively. When we say no duality, we immediately submit to duality. The brain cannot recognize denial. The same, if we say good and bad, will be the same. When you say, I want to do good, it is done, you are subject to evil. Unfortunately, this is how it works. In other words, if we are able to find a word that the brain accepts, and this word, well, is acceptance, there is no need to know what we accept, there is no need to say it, but it is impossible to accept the unacceptable, it is not necessary. The brain will respond to very simple words. Even when you say there is no judgment, you are subject to judgment in the same way. So how can we do it? We can find a word, and this word of acceptance, of embrace there are certainly others, I do not pretend to know them all, at that moment you release the pressure at the level of the seat of individuality, you favor the breaking of the myth of the immortality autonomously, without appealing to the theogons, or the magnetic fields, or anything, and at this moment you are available. This is what we have been told to be in the present instant, it is simply a matter of lucidity and availability. Our senses, of which we speak this morning then the vision, the ear, are essential elements that participate in the confinement. Remember the channels of Krishnamurti, or no eyes in the notions of vision, everything we see is discriminated. It is white, it is black, it is colored. It is done at that time. That is why people who are blind have many more opportunities for openness, and a much greater ease to live without judging, and what is called subtle. It is the same for the ear, it is a bit more complex for the sense of smell, the sense of smell is related to the reptilian brain. I took you as an example of putting edras in new cars, you will not choose the car that has more horses, the one you like the most, unconsciously you will, choose the one that returns you to the state before your individualization, that is to say before the three years. Finding the inner child is finding what we were after two or three years, provided there was no individual. And, in fact, when there is a break in the myth of individuality, one is free. In other words, we are no longer subject to the senses, whether visual or auditory, we are no longer subject to smell, there is what we call this spontaneity of the present instant that constantly manifests itself and can only grow day by day. It is the same for what is called the inner child, the internal form, it is the same, that is, we are no longer subject to society, to the operating rules of the society that, I remind you, is essentially the system of predation pyramid that exists in all human societies, whether it is a country called democratic or a dictatorship, does not change anything, because everything is discriminated against. But the state of spontaneity, the state of presence, the present instant, cannot be subject to any discrimination. And when we say that there is no right or wrong, of course, we see the good and the bad, we are not stupid, we are not stupid, we are not floating, we know that it exists, but the structure of our brain makes us see behind appearances, because the senses, the five senses, are no longer at the front of the stage. I remind you that at the time, there were five defined senses, but in fact, there are no five senses, there are eight senses in the human being. There are the five senses that we know, there is the electric sense and there is the magnetic sense, and then there is the electromagnetic sense, which is the meaning of the divine. Now the meaning of the divine is one sense, as are the other senses. Now this sense of the divine is masked by the five ordinary senses sight, touch, smell, hearing and, finally, the five senses that we all know. 
That is why when someone is deficient in a certain sense, they have a much more natural ability to discover and light the truth and transmit it. In addition, we know it well when we meditate, close our eyes, put the body at rest, so we put the five senses at rest. Brother, we change frequency, yes, that's all. Brother, and each sense. And we activate other neural networks. Then, availability is nothing more than not trusting your senses, what you see, what you hear, what you touch, but that puts you in a state of receptivity, and no longer projection. Consciousness is a projection. Consciousness only works through feeling, perception, and it has always been said that the absolute is a perception. There is nothing to say, there is no one. Of course, we are lucid that we are billions, there are billions of galaxies, but the change in the configuration of brain programming leads us to this conclusion. We can only see it, as we said last night, that is to say that with each passing day, we will penetrate deeper and deeper into this spontaneity of the inner child, and that is freedom. Freedom must not depend on the reward circuit or the punishment circuit. However, in order not to depend more on these two circuits, it is necessary that the reward circuit, one had it, all that, had been taught with the stars, that the punishment circuit is no longer active. And only the active reward circuit makes it possible to reinforce the breakdown of the myth of individuality or the breakdown of what is called the myth of immortality. You know that the ego exists only because it is considered immortal. Consciousness exists only because it is believed permanent. Then, of course, we know that we cannot act from the ego to free ourselves from the ego, we cannot act on the conscience to free ourselves from the conscience, that is why it is a state of emptiness and silence, whose translation is the naked joy of the child interior, which does not depend on the brain structures of the adult. That, there is a total coherence, in the same way that all things are seen today, they are illuminated, even recent discoveries, well, we talked about cholesterol, we discovered, there I read the CNRS article yesterday, they discovered a protein, they called, I don't know how, chrome, I forgot the name, it doesn't matter, a new protein they discovered, which is only capable of rebuilding the whole brain. Yes. Then, of course, the protein is not commercialized. Laughter. But today everything is clear. DNA, they taught us at school the double spiral of Watson and Crick, the still, rigid structure, engraved in marble, that haunted us until the end of our days, so we know that today genetics is nothing at all, that genetics, that is, environmental factors, that is, what we receive as signals, is fundamental. We are told that words can reprogram the brain, and in the same way, when I say that the brain does not recognize denial, because it is written in negative, not negative in the sense of negativity, but it is an inverted mirror image, it stops the frequencies the brain permanently discriminates. We are subject to it, whether we like it or not and it is the square of the circle, you cannot leave it, neither by the ego nor by the conscience. So, of course, it has been called sacrifice, so the sacrifice is even more frightening for conscience, but it is a state of acceptance. When we say, accept what is happening, anyway, we cannot change things, it is exactly the same as we go through neuroscience or something else, we end with the same conclusion, and especially the same experience. So you'll find it in biology as I said, and in all areas of life, as long as you think about the other life, you will not be able to live the truth. As long as you think about tomorrow, you cannot live the truth. As long as you think about yesterday, you cannot live the truth. It really is an absolutely incredible confinement in this brain structure, and we know even more because today, too, we are still talking about the belly brain, in fact, with the substances that are secreted by our own bacteria. Someone, for example, who eats sugar is because he has bacteria in his stomach that tell him, bring me some sugar. Likewise, look at people who have candida albicans in the stomach, we know that candida albicans feeds on milk. What candida albicans will create will send the brain a call to consume dairy products, and we can't help it. And now we know that there is also a brain in the heart. 
When we are told to replace the head with the heart, it is to leave the natural preeminence of the electromagnetic field and scale to the heart, that is, the double pterioid, to act. That is simplicity, that is the path of childhood. And that we take it for bacteria, for neural networks, for consciousness itself, is increasingly illuminated on the screen of the world, through everything we discover. For example, this famous protein that has been the subject of a worldwide publication of the CNRS, since it is multidisciplinary teams, I forgot the name, I will find it, it is not the, which is the predation, but it is a molecule capable, a protein capable, of completely reconfiguring a brain again, in Parkinson's, Alzheimer, the consequences of stroke. That is what happened to Dr. Eben Alexander, of whom I have spoken countless times, he no longer had a neocortex, and his neocortex really reappeared in a week. Then, it also joins the so-called morphogenetic fields, so we call it, for example, in the Klein effect, the phantom effect, for a clairvoyant, when he sees the outbreak, he already sees the shape of the future leaf, that is, there is an etheric field, which is called morphogenetic, which also exists in the crystal. When I make crystal formations, I speak of the morphogenetic field, that is to say that the crystal kept the memory of its creation by fire, because in order for a crystal to appear, it must be subjected to fire, and for a pattern of crystallization. The crystallization pattern is the crystalline matrices of life that have been created, synthesized by geneticist mothers, in time immemorial. Cretochromium is cretochromium, so it is obviously a protein that contains chromium, cretochromium, in the morphogenetic field, the reconstruction of the brain. Dr. Alexander, who was the first to live a recreation, lived directly, was in a total resuscitation of his brain that no longer existed, in a week, is the formal proof of the existence of morphogenetic fields, that is to say something we call the ether, the primordial ether, the zero time, carries all the information of life and all the codification of all forms of life, from all times and from all spaces. And it is written in each of our cells. I remind you that when our cell divides, it goes through zero time, all the cells of the body, all the cells of the abdomen, and if they did not go through this zero time, they could not recover the information of life. Then, zero time is inscribed in our cells, in our biology and, of course, in our brain. Zero time is when you sleep, because when you sleep, you don't know that the world exists and yet you are there, you don't remember it, but you are there. It is exactly the same. So, whatever it is today, where we enlighten ourselves, everything is revealed. And we see it in science, we see it in all sectors of life. In astrophysics, look at Nassimha Romain, everything is contained in the black hole. Of course, for the ego, for consciousness, it is nothing, in the sense, there is nothing. However, all traditional models, whether in Taoism, in the original Kebul or in the Egyptians, we are only talking about this zero time. But to understand one thing is not to live it. But enlightenment, understanding, begins to release the dice if I can say, of what we have, to allow us to have more and more evidence, that is why we are increasingly more to live this zero time, and to live this freedom from inner child. At that time, the dream of creation can no longer be sustained. It is a dream. When you say it's a dream, a bad dream, a nightmare, it's the truth. What does not prevent living life, appreciate the joy here in this world, is precisely because we made all the planes resonate, in another dimensional planes, we go through it. Add, a you trust dimensions, the stellar origins, the vibral assignment, everything that has been said for more than 10 years, but today, when we have found the source of the source itself, it is to say what is prior to the light, it's finished. And it's over for all creation, since all creation is us. There is no God to sustain, there is no individual to sustain, or we are all individuals, and we are all the gods that man has created at the same time. He really created God, it is not God who created man. Yes. Brother, is the black hole the passage between matter and antimatter? Oh, no, it is antimatter that contains all past, present and future matters, since there is no time, 
there is no space. When you put a concept of passage, at that time it is no longer called a black hole, at the astrophysical level, for example, it will be called a wormhole or wormhole. It is a place of complete reversal. They told us, how often, the reversals. Brother, and the dark matter, the black hole, could it be the passage to our 90% dark matter? But there is no dark matter. It is called black matter, because we need representation for the sense of consciousness, it is nothing. But you can live this nothing just by accepting it, without asking a question. As long as there are questions about the black hole, the black hole cannot be unmasked, it cannot be seen and it cannot be lived. It can be understood, as is done in astrophysics or biology, but as long as it is not lived, it is useless. It is a cautery on a wooden leg. You know that judgment does not exist, when they tell you not to judge, you cannot do anything, without your knowledge, your brain spends its time discriminating. Spend your time judging, even when you tell me I don't judge. There is only what has been called sacrifice, abandonment, acceptance or present instant, because the present instant is the bearer of zero time, of course, it is the only place where the equation of the past and the future is solved, not elsewhere. As long as it remains in linearity, it will be trapped by its own consciousness, by its own ego, we call this the spiritual evolution that does not exist, there is no more soul than spirit. There is only this last abode where, as I have always said, we can only remember, we can only remember. It is the end of oblivion. But to live the end of oblivion, you must accept that you are forgetting and that you are everything. But, as it was said, you can live everything. But as long as you have not lived anything, which is the source of everything, it is useless to conceptualize it, you cannot be free. It is not a positioning of consciousness, even if we know that there is ordinary consciousness, dream of wellness, super consciousness, all that is just interactions. Now, at the zero time level, there is no longer any possible interaction between good and evil, between form and non-form, between the hereafter and here, everything you do. It appears as what it is, that is, an immense deception and, paradoxically, that is what makes you accept life, that is what you live here in the dream. The dreamer lives the dream, but knows that he is not the dreamer, not even he is the one who looks at the dream. Brother, but there may be, well, we're in the dream, but there may be other dreamers who dream a little on another frequency, well, yes, these are all dimensions, yes, of course, of course. The reunification of the different dreams brings us back to the initial instant, the first dream, Fahams, has explained it sufficiently, which allows us not to depend more on perception, I have always said that the absolute was in no way a vibration, even if one is traversed by these vibrations, since one has developed them for years, but one is prior to perception, one is prior to vibration. In the zero time, there are all the vibrations, of course, I explained it, I see all the worlds, all the dimensions, but I remain silent in this non-presence that is the absence, but when I speak, I speak through the person, why, of course, I use my brain, I speak through presence, and I also speak nourished by absence. That is why, when I speak, it is not a specificity of my own, that is to say that there is no longer a personal point of view. Of course, there is knowledge, I use it, they are there, they are in my brain, so I take the scores, but I never think about what I am going to say, never, 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 and the child, Franklin tells us the inner child, it's the same, things happen naturally. As long as you think you control something, you are controlled. You cannot consider freedom of something to conquer, or something to climb, or to seek or understand. You cannot seek the truth, you can only be, and that is the difficulty that the one who is still inscribed in the games of consciousness, even in the subtle, cannot live. It can't, it's impossible. We must accept. Acceptance is the fundamental key to freedom's experience, and to remember, to remember who we are. Then, of course, he goes through many dreams, this morning, for example, a brother tells me that he dreamed, that he was in an assembly, somewhere in a place with many people, and suddenly he sees a white light coming. 
But the number of brothers and sisters who make this kind of dream at this time is unimaginable. It is the dream, it is still a dream, but it is the dream of the memory of the initial instant, since the initial moment and the final instant, as I said, are the same, it is there is no time, there is no space. We must already accept that any imperfection that we perceive, that we live, whether with ordinary senses, with consciousness itself, is a total deception. But to see it, that is, to live it, one must accept to let go of the consciousness itself. So, of course, for the ego, it is intolerable, it is like breaking the myth of individuality, but the murder of conscience cannot be achieved through conscience, if it is not for the latter. Remember that many brothers and sisters begin to live in dreams, through precise assemblies, people gather together, so sometimes it is in a boat, sometimes in places, sometimes in houses, and they see this white light coming. This is called the solar and galactic flash, which is only the reminder in the seven sprawl universes, from the initial instant. Of course, the source, the archangels, the hierarchies as they are called, are perfectly aware, but the reintegration into the truth could only be done in a common moment, since time does not exist. I had to find in the initial script, it was necessary to write the end. And that is why I call it a videogon. There are roads, all the roads that we could dream, program, have been programmed, we have written them all, we have covered them all, but it was necessary at one point to write the word end. Believe that consciousness is endless is a total heresy, but consciousness cannot accept it. Only when you see the source or origin of consciousness, everything that shines, what is responsible for what was called this naked joy, this inner child, this spontaneity of which we spoke last night too. People don't need these concepts, look at Leela what she told us last night, she just accepts that. Of course, it is attractive to understand. It's a curiosity even me, the more I see that it is understandable at the scientific level, at the biological level, nothing has changed to what I live, but it can resonate, as we said yesterday, resonance and no longer communication or teaching but make the other resonate at this initial instant. And, of course, there is a notion of threshold, quantum entanglement as we say, or now the string theory, which will allow us to say at any given time, but yes, of course, that is all. This is exactly what comes close to our consciousness plane, that's why there are so many brothers and sisters who have the same kind of dreams. And that for a long time, but then with a phenomenal insistence, why? That is also what Nizar Gadea said, everything you have has you. It's as simple as that. As soon as there is a focus, as soon as there is perception, it is ruined, consciousness goes into action, be it ordinary consciousness or superconsciousness, simply the source, the archangels, the hierarchies, the speakers. The human interested did not know. Because they, even the elders, only have certain feminine polarities, that is, some stars, because the woman is naturally the yin, that is, in the home of the yang, so she has more availability and more possibilities, that's why we always have many more women, and even in therapy, when I dealt with crystals, I had 90% of the women, because they were at that reception, welcome. A woman is constituted, energetically and physically, to embrace, welcome life. That is why there are no creators, there are only creators. Saying, talking about a creator god is already a huge fake. The woman created the dream, geneticist mothers. That is why for a moment I said that it was not so ironic that, who is responsible, because there is no responsibility, but who created the dream? It happened spontaneously, but immediately acquired a feminine polarity and that is why this feminine polarity of dream creation had the primary anomaly. Then, the eggs of they had not been there, we would never have left, we would have descended more and more deeply as the so-called eggs predicted, to take us to the machines, to suppress biological life. This is called transhumanism, which remains an investment. Artificial intelligence, of which many people boast in transhumanism, has changed from a three-dimensional world to a two-dimensional, totally binary world. It is no longer even duality, it is binary, it is a total inversion of the meaning of values, it is a mirror image. 
It is not negative in herself, it is also make to wake us up. Everything that is and everything that needs to be will be, and everything that does not have to be will not be. And when you accept that, it is not a problem of belief, I say it often, do not confuse belief and acceptance, belief is a projection, in a messiah, in a god, acceptance is an introjection, that is, it kills consciousness. Consciousness is a phenomenon and a projective mechanism in that pathological sense. Stopping the projection is no longer an effort, it is not worth reflecting today, it is not worth praying, it is not worth the effort. It has always been said that it was the truth that sought us, it is not we who can seek the truth. And we write this scenario, individual and collective, and in all creation, to remember. Remember that we are dreaming. In the same way, as in the morning, as I said and I repeat, when you wake up, you know that you dream, even if it was a nightmare that bothered you for several days. It is the same for the awakening, and it is a relief, because at that moment, you are totally available, you always have the same boredom as everyone, as I said, but everything is going through. Really, with the same humor. Even if there is anger, even if there is sadness, it happens, but it is not crystallized, and it is not crystallizable. Then it makes us more and more available for the truth, for the joy, for this naked joy as it was said, that is to say without object, the joy of the child, the innocence, the little way of Teresa, is the same, it is exactly what same. Simply, before the end of the primary anomaly, except Nizargaida, even in time, those who founded what is called non-duality, which was born in Kashmir Tantrism, could never get there. You may have thought about it, since everyone talked about it in esotericism, whatever that esotericism was, but no one had the means to live it. But there must also be a form of dream tradition in all civilizations, which is known. Today, with the scientific media, we know that it is true in the cell, we know that it is true in astrophysics, since we come to model that there has never been time and space, they tell you that this world is a computer simulation and that there is no better image. There is no better image than this notion of computer simulation. As we say, Matrix is not a movie, but a documentary, and that is what was said elsewhere in Matrix, those who are inserted in this world, when I say inserted in this world, are not necessarily the materialists, they are also all those who live their spirituality through perception, vibration, cannot be free. It was just as I said, a scaffolding that we build to allow us to remember and illuminate all this dream, in all its aspects and in all its dimensions, to finally see, that you have traveled like me, or not, that we simply embrace the vibratory aspect, that he intended to make us live this, that is, being at the source of consciousness has nothing to do with consciousness. It is the conscious consciousness, as Baida says the absolute, the ultimate, you finally call it what you want, we could call this state of total acceptance today. Then, of course, for the ego, for the conscience, you will have many brothers and sisters who still hurry on the stretches, which tell you, how can we accept the unacceptable? Teddy bear, you are completely next to the plate. Oh yes, that's for sure, we're not on the plate anymore, we're not printed anymore. Laughter. We are completely out of all dreams, and yet we participate in the dream, because as soon as there is a leak, the dream catches you. And all the people who began to meditate, to lock themselves up, even the mystics, even those who live the stigmas of Christ, and I go far, like S.T. Francis of Assisi, even if they translated a Sri or Yorobindo, this aspect of life, this love has not seen the origin of love. And as long as you have not seen the origin of love, that is, you yourselves, you cannot be free. There are no two freedoms, there is only one. And now, and besides, I propose in a few words, not for us here, but for all those who listen, define in three words. You Franklin, you defined it, this inner child, but everyone can express it in their own way when they live it, or when they don't see it, and again, again, it is no longer a testimony, yesterday I called it a resonance. In other words, it will cause the resonance of memory, simply by its presence, simply by its words, there is no need to speak, there is not even a need for anything, 
the memory of the initial instant can only eclipse everyone as soon as it is heard, because as soon as there is a real listening, you resonate. It goes through the mind, it goes through perception, it goes through vision, it goes through conceptions, it goes through all the perceptions. And at that moment, you discover, stupefied, the truth, about which nothing can be said, but that you live here through this character, as we said last night, directly on the stage of the theatre, but without projecting anything, there is no new world, there is no root race. And yet you know it, I said it, I say it again, and most of the great beings of the 20th century, apart from Nizargaida, have projected a new root race, the sixth race. We have all projected the perpetuation of consciousness, but consciousness, as well as the person, is a total scam. These are very violent words, but for us, they make us laugh. It is not a judgment, it is a clear vision of what life is, but life without form, which contains all forms, at the same time and in all spaces. That is God, it is us. Brother, and this is not a frequency. Oh no, it's not a frequency. Frequency, by definition, is a number of cycles per second, called hertz that are measured in the pendulum or current, which has a certain frequency, 50, 60 hertz, or the television screen that produces a scan to 100 hertz. As soon as there is a frequency, you are no longer in the truth, because a frequency oscillates around zero time, that is, the point of equilibrium, is called electromagnetic frequencies, regardless of this frequency. Then, of course, when measuring with a pendulum, you will find frequencies, whether angstroms or hertz, as with devices that measure specific frequencies. Even the subtle frequency does not exist. Therefore, reasoning in terms of frequencies, that is, in terms of sinusoidal electromagnetic waves, means nothing. The photon is also a wavelength, whether we see it or not. Yesterday I told you that the brain emitted photons, that the cells communicate with the photons that are in the ultraviolet, which cannot be seen, but is still in manifestation. It will never illuminate the source of the event. The source of the manifestation is what is called the present instant, the presence, the absence, regardless of the words, but it is the moment when the awareness appears, and that is what fills you with joy. Brother, and it is not a wavelength, it is an absence of wavelength, it cannot be a wavelength, or it would be a wavelength that would work in phaser position, and that has fun of itself, is what one calls the double pterioid, or is what one calls today the scalar waves, or if you prefer, with the level of astrophysics, what is called quantum entanglement, that is, when the wing of a butterfly breaks, the whole universe trembles, it is the truth. Brother, so it is neither one nor the other, it is zero. Yes. There is a bad ground noise, as I said this morning, that we know in physics, which we call frequency of grace, that is, the song of the universe, the M, or M, but the M is not the song of creation, it was explained, OD is the song of creation. Then he became M, because we loved the manifestation more than the origin. But we had to go through this dream, because we are responsible, not guilty, but responsible, and there is no one more responsible than another, be it a geneticist mother, an etchin, an insect, a grain of sand or a tree, or an archangel. Again, you cannot represent or conceptualize it. On the contrary you can accept it. By accepting it, acceptance creates availability, because you are no longer in a projective mechanism of consciousness, even of your spread consciousness, and something that could not be seen, the test, looks at Maan and Amoy, who is the closest to the Marian vibration, it has always been said, like a star, well, when I was absorbed in this absolute, what was happening, well, I didn't eat anymore, I was always in the same place, for years, and nobody could move it here, the miracle is that we live through this character, whatever our age, whatever our life, we don't need to disappear to manifest it, on the contrary. That is freedom. We have joined, as we say, the Alpha and the Omega, the initial moment and the final moment, 
the song of the cetaceans, the song of Fehuan, the source code of the geneticist mothers, and the worst thing is that, we saw it in the Canary Islands, when we had three channels at IMU, is that all this was mockingly hidden in the most ephemeral that is not ours, since our identity, our last name and our first name, which gave us the family and parents, belong, as you know, to the Queen of the Akins. And it is at the heart of the most violent simulation, since we have been given the order to name the creation, it is written in the Bible, as soon as you name, make it appear, it is that the creator of the word and even this creative word has been eliminated from us, there is someone who has appropriated that, and it is within the densest forgery, the deepest in the density level, where all this is found. It's fantastic. And it could not be otherwise than written. Brother. But our brain, our body is a tool that can capture a number of things, it can catch everything, yes, of course. Brother. Frequencies, and everything. Is it able to capture the body outside the frequencies? You can get zero time, that's when you remember it. But at that time it is no longer a frequency. Brother. And is it a tool, is it a special sensor? Oh yes, there is a very, very special organelle, which is found in all living cells, not only in humans, at least in the carbon worlds, which is called snatriol. I talked about that for a long time, they are two small organelles, they are perfect spatial mathematical geometric structures, which simply turn in phaser position, such as the double pteroid. The double pteroid that is here generates a scalar field, which is the most important electromagnetic and scalar field strong of the human being. The electromagnetic field and the scalar field emitted by the heart is a thousand times more powerful than that of the brain. Simply your brain has had priority over this field, due to historical circumstances that have been written to allow us to end with the head, as they say, unlike the heart. When you see the heart, it ends, except two or three years ago, and for millennia, when you lived the heart, you were a mystic, you were a saint, you were what you wanted, but you had no access to the truth. Brother, is it also a sensor? Yes, it is a sensor, it is based on what, we know, silica. Silica provides the base of time for the cell. We know that the cell does not evolve in the same space of time as that conceived by our conscience. A cell is capable of doing what is called low energy energy transmutation, it is linked to an organelle that appeared during confinement, called mitochondria, that works with sugar, in biology in this it is called the Krebs cycle, although today we know, of course, and I repeat it all the time, that the sugar cycle reinforces the illusion and strengthens the dream. Only fatty substances are the base and the basis of life, that's why whales are only fatty. Brother. And the silica is destined to disappear too? Oh yes, of course, of course. To end the functioning of mitochondria is to find the origin. It goes beyond the event. It is the zero time, as I said, that is present when a cell divides, whether cancerous or not, through these two organelles there, which become phaser position, that is, you imagine two frequencies that cancel each other out which are in opposition to the perfect phase, and which cancel themselves, is a well-known physical principle. Brother, then it starts with, the carbon will start to disappear, yes, we cross the silica. Brother, and after the silica, but we will also have to make the silica disappear. Yes, it's done in three days, that's what we call the event and stasis. Brother, then in three days the silica too, yes. Yes. You go through the silicified body, that is, for those who live the vibrations, we have known for years, we saw our wings, our appendages related to the body of eternity, but the body of eternity is not the truth. The body of eternity is what ends the illusion. But as long as it has not been lived simultaneously, as long as the good news has not spread to the four corners of the universe and the dimensions, one could not live, it had been written. That is why we cannot claim the least part or pride of what we will say, whatever it is, when I tell you that we are all ever, it is the strict truth. Brother, but as there is no more time, the three days of the disappearance of the silica, these three days will last the entire creation. Brother, the three days, in linear time. 
Yes, three days in linear time, of course, three days and three nights. It has always been said in all the prophecies, even if the event will now be synchronous, the famous solar or galactic flash that everyone expects for the first quarter of 2020, because they have means of calculation that we do not have, I am speaking physically there, astrophysics, not at the subtle level, at the real level of what is happening. Brother, the prophecies that are also in the dream. What? Brother, the prophecies that are within the dream. Yes absolutely. If the prophecies exist, it is because they were written, because they were lived by those who received them, of course. But again a prophecy, you can see them, as they said yesterday, from both ends of the telescope, or you see it from the point of view of ego and consciousness, it is terrible, or you see it from the point of view of the absolute, and everything is perfect. When one is in the inner child, one knows, because he lives it, that everything is perfect. This is not a projection, it is not something we can imagine or dream, it is how we live, really and concretely. Everything has its reason, but we do not need to understand it, we accept it, and that is freedom, and that is joy. Brother, and if the prophecies were not made simply so that they do not arrive, but that remains, Morris, it is still a reasoning, what you tell me is still a concept. Live it and you will understand it, but you can live it only if you accept it. But in the words you use, you show that he didn't accept it, that's all. He posed the problem of acceptance, as when we discussed karma for years, since I also followed the same path as you, compared to Drowwood, compared to regressions and all that. But ask yourself the right question. What did I not accept? Since your brain will always send you impulses, you'll think that it is you who thinks it, but since you are subject to the circuit of punishment, well, you cannot live the truth. You can approach it, but basically you have not accepted it. Brother, yes, well, that's true, because yesterday, when the masseurs was hurting me, I was ready to shout and, I accept, I accept, and it happens. Brother, and then it happened. Exactly. Do the same in relation to your questions, do not say that it is not true, just say, okay, I see that all these questions arise, accept them too, without judging them, they will disappear themselves. So, it is positioning, not even your thinking or reasoning, again it is not acceptance. Somewhere today, anyone who would suffer for his life, his body, the interrogation, did not accept, that's all. And again, as I said yesterday, forget those words of sacrifice and resurrection, which are still part of a mystical religious discourse somewhere. I have already said since the end of the primary anomaly, that the more the months progressed, the more I was going to get rid of all these layers of interference that allowed us to get there. It is not an illusion to have lit the Kekras, the opening of doors, to live the body of eternity, it is real, but it is still a dream. And being free is not clinging to anything, that is, letting life develop as it is. As soon as this acceptance is realized in itself, the truth is there, and you can only, as I said, you can only notice that you become, in fact, like a child. It does not prevent you from driving a car, it does not prevent you from completing your tax returns, but it simply has nothing to do with the fragmentation, personal or related to any conscience that either. Obviously we use the body, of course we use consciousness, obviously we use the person, knowing that we are nothing like that. And it takes away a weight, but gigantic, gigantic, it does not take it away only in thoughts, not only in emotions, as I said, we are not a mystic or a saint, we are in the truth, but this truth is not ours, it is absolute and total and concerns all life. Simply, in fact, well, we can only realize, as the weeks and months go by, that the feeling, the experience of this essential freedom, which is neither internal nor external, can no longer discriminate internally externally, when one it is in this state of love and service to others, the other is both ourselves and any enemy, and is not once again a morality or vibratory behavior. It is something that is imposed, regardless of all will, regardless of all conception and desire. 
That does not mean that you have no right to want to eat a couscous. That does not mean that you have no right to make love. It has nothing to do. On the contrary, you are much more available for what is done and what happens and even unpleasant events. As I said, we all have things that manifest today, which may seem the opposite of joy, but that we cross much more easily and especially without any effort. It is the relaxation that creates the crossing. Once again, everything you have holds you back, even your purest and most accurate conceptions. Yes, life is vibration, it has been said, it has been repeated for years, consciousness is vibration, I never said otherwise. I simply say that there is something that cannot be located in time and space, which is at the origin of this vibration, what Bida called absolute, ultimate, Parabrahman, which today is very simple in what has been called the present instant, in the here and now. That's why you see it flourish, especially women, well, I'm not going to give names, there are dozens, who talk today about what is called the presence, in the present instant. And do you think those sisters, there are some, not even they know what energy is, they don't even know what it is, they haven't lived energy. They don't even know what a Kekka is, they have no knowledge of astrophysics or biology. I use it because it's in my brain, it's part of my memory, my library, but this library doesn't bother me absolutely, you see. But they are much more spontaneous, even if they have no more words, examples. Its mere presence is enough, because we are the space, it was verified again in a gay resonance, where I told you that no, in addition, we managed to recover the four parts of satsang where we do not listen, thanks to Vincent, so we will try to transfer them, ah he has already transferred them, so that everything I said the night of the live satsang broadcast, people have access. And that is important, it is important to calm down. And how can you be sure, well with what you can know, within the illusion, in the heart of the dream, that is the illumination of the light. And you will acquire a pseudo-knowledge, a pseudo-understanding, which will strengthen and may reveal zero time, which is still called the presence, but the presence in the presence in the sense that it had told developed it perfectly, contains zero time. And even all these people who speak of presence, without even suspecting that even presence is a total illusion, are the best location of spraconsciousness or the natural state, if I can say, to live zero time and accept zero time when the flash of white light it will reach us, in all universes. Brother, we have the example with Leela that, with very little time, yes, yes, absolutely. And you see elsewhere, in the history, because the story will be there until the last moment, as she said, she was already like that girl, but I, when I remember my childhood. I remember scenes before three years that are very strong, where I was at that. And, of course, unconsciously, it has directed my whole life, through an external thirst for knowledge, but it can be the same with art. There are some who have used it, but they are talented, they have a gift that is to be an artist, to be a singer, to be a poet, others who have the gift of seeing a vision that I would say panoramic and of swallowing knowledge, but that is always the same search of oneself, brother. But this is a good example of this whole family of, every, yes, absolutely. Which also means that on the strictly behavioral level, even if you're a person, and I do not tell you, for everyone, if you're a person and have the impression of being even a spiritual being, accept what it is, and the less you ask questions, but I don't talk about the questions here in Satsang, but inside you, by the way, is, the last question I find aberrant is the people who ask me, I am absolute or not. Well, that means they haven't remembered, when you're absolute, you don't even ask the question of the absolute or love, or agape, you are. So, that only proves as I said, the words used in everyday life, not even in satsang, only prove who is the person who is speaking to you. Is he still an individual, is he a person, is someone who is still in a story, is someone who is still in the illusion of being, what is called spiritual pride, oh yes, there they will lie the light, they will present themselves, they have a beautiful white light around them, which is called the halo of the saints, and we have seen it for many years, but they conceived that the light was them. 
It's the same when the Archangels told us, in the years 2009 and 2010, well, you knew it when Enel came down, everyone saw this magnificent white light that went down to my left, until the crossing of the Marion Canal crosses the Unity Gate, above the left breast, and reaches the heart. And, of course, now it's real, everyone is inside us, even if you see a presence when I channel to my left, it doesn't come from another dimension, it doesn't come from the light, as the light is there, in the middle of the heart, it is the conjunction as Nizar Gadea said, the edge of being and non-being, is the best place through the person, to discover that we dream, and to accept it, and if you're a person, do not ask any more questions about the increase of vibration, is from another moment, is archaic, even if necessary. Brother, it depends on the moment too, or the person in front of us, no, as long as you think it depends on the person in front of you, you are not free. Brother, no, no, but, or ourselves, we change moments, there are times when we go, for example, well, there we ask questions, but it is because we are in a field questions and advance the schmilblick, but in the background of self, no, 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 there can be no questions, questions exist only for the person and conscience. As I told you, ask questions, will I go swimming today or what will I eat or what will I see at the cinema? It is a question that corresponds to life. But compared to who you are, you can't ask yourself a question. As soon as a question arises, it means that you are not awake. Brother, I leave it for a moment. No, waking up is not a moment, it is permanent, it is the permanence of impermanence. You cannot understand it and you will never understand it. On the contrary you can live it. Live and understand, you have nothing to do. As long as you put the awareness in front of you, the perception in front of you, you cannot discover the source of the perception, whatever your state, which is the most exalted, the most mystical and the most luminous, you have not seen where come the light from. And it is unstoppable, it is unstoppable because I am not the only one to say it and manifest it, we are many, you have your wife who lives it, so even if the words, the speeches, are not the same, it is exactly the same, exactly the same. Simply, go through the person and it will take a coloration in its plane, of course. They are not the same words, it is not the same vocabulary, it is not the same temperament, but basically we know that it is the same because we recognize ourselves through that. And freedom is that, that is, to live life without being subjected to any past or any projection, you are totally available for the instant, for the presence, and when you are present, you discover that presence itself is based on absence, the manifestation is based on the black hole, as we know in astrophysics. You are the black hole, and when you are the black hole, well, you can no longer question this order. Of course, you can be curious, ask questions, but never be fooled. Why I am interested in earthquakes, astrophysics, biology, all that. Since it's a hobby, it's something I like, but I'm not looking for an answer. Eventually it is a confirmation of this, I don't know what to call it, of this uniqueness, that's all. It simply shows enlightenment, in the same way that predation at all levels of society is revealed through revolts, revolutions, the illumination of Satanism, pedophilia, the scam of religions, it is the same. And the conscience scam. Brother, you told me, you quoted my wife, you say you have your wife who lives it, but she lives it when she is in her inner child, but when she is not in her inner child, she wants to be right, and good, it's not always there laughs. Yes, but the only difference is that she knows and plays it. It's a game. You didn't see it was a game. Laughter. Brother. Well, well, of course it's a game. Laughs. Brother. I assure you, you have to fill it in. Laughs. It's not about filling it in, it's exactly what you should face to you, who wrote, to allow you to recognize yourself. Brother, so, that's for sure. Here, look at it that way, accept in the same way, and you will be free. You have a mirror, we all have before us a mirror that returns us to ourselves. There are no enemies, not even the murderer, not even the torturer, he doesn't know, but he's there to wake us up. Well, 
that said, I don't think it's taught you what you live. Laughter. Sister. I understand why he was locked in the kitchen. Laughter. It's really part of this game. Brother. I am a living cook released. Laughs. It is true that you could have done the same as everyone else. Find yourself locked in the bathroom, which is logical, but locked in a kitchen. Look at the scope of what you have. Laughter and general bustle. Brother. A kitchen with nothing to eat. This is an empty kitchen. You can't even eat. Brother. And that's my problem. Laughter. What does life mean to you? Stop cooking. Brother. Yes, but we also play. Sister. But play alone. Is recorded. Laughter. No, but he can listen in a loop. Laughter. So, I would like you to express, with simple words, with your words, what you are going through. Daniel, wait, the microphone is where? Ben doesn't. Sister. No, there's no need now. Oh no, it's true, there is no microphone. No, no, it works alone. Sister. What I live is acceptance. It is, very recently, acceptance is something that tells me, my obsession, somewhere, well, it is an obsession because, yes, it is, sister, yes, and I said to myself that I do not felt all the different wheels of acceptance. And one day, I made a gesture where I was going to hurry to the other, as I continued and stopped. And there, I felt this time zero because I, as if I had totally eradicated what was behind. And there, I knew that I was in total acceptance, and from that moment, whatever I do, there is this space that grows every time, as, for example, now. At any moment, I leave everything, I put everything like that. And that, it's me, it gives me joy, a much calmer joy than the one I've expressed so far, but something permanent and at any time. That is what I live, that is what it is for me, it is this acceptance that is there, the key for me in this new moment. Absolutely, absolutely. I do not comment, I let everyone express, so you pass it to the next person, you express what you want to express. Sister, acceptance, it came alone. And that is what makes me, I am in a state where I am no longer there. It also gives me difficulties to express myself, because I can no longer find my words. Then I let it go, I didn't rebel, I let it go. I would like you to tell yourself, because now it is anonymous, I did not say your name, which tells what happened to your daughter, not too long ago, which is exceptional, in a materialistic, materialistic environment. Sister. Yes, precisely, that is, difficulty also to express. Okay. My daughter, my children, do not want to know what we live here, what we do, and lately, as recently as last Saturday, with her husband, they were invited to a birthday party. There were between 8 and 10 couples, of all origins, quite exclusive origins and others. And she, as it was a party where she had to drive later, didn't drink any alcohol, looked at everything that was going on around her, and felt that it was a dream, everyone was. It was a dream come true, a theater scene, where everyone played their part, and it was like the end of the world. She felt the last moments, as if it was going to end. That is all. Thank you. And what our friend describes, there are many brothers and sisters who are in their roles, family members, professionals, everything that has more, we will say standard, that, through the play that he had not seen, suddenly, sees, as you say, as she told you, it is a theater scene. What do you want as evidence that people who have never seen, who have never been interested in anything other than the materiality of their lives, their emotions, their children, their work, their social status, that even in the course of something like that, discover the truth. That is to say, the theater scene is seen, it is something incredible, because as soon as you see that, it would be a billionth of a second, of course, that means what I have called the reward and punishment circuits are being released. Despite this, there was a form of acceptance, since you yourself said that your children were rather in contradiction with what they lived. They could call you dreamy, crazy, completely gaga, and today they realize that it is the truth. 
They didn't ask for anything, they didn't look for me and I tell them that, precisely, those who are registered as actors in their life and who really have facilities, because all their smiles in their material life even in being materialistic, will open like flowers. Never asked questions. They were inserted in their lives, professional, family, emotional and well played, do not know that they are actors. Suddenly, they say, and that's the phrase we hear often, but it's a stage, it's a movie, it's a video game. And that's the formal proof that zero time has penetrated them even if they don't have a word to define it, it's not important. They saw the stage of the theater while the one that is inserted in the energy, the vibration, the spirituality, cannot live that is a theater stage. It is so in their own dream that he always distances itself from necessity. It has been said, it has been seen with friends who are doubting need to take a pendulum to measure the vibrations. That proves that you are not available at the instant, whether you like it or not and God knows that I have trained in dousing. I trained people to use the licking antenna, the pendulum and, like everyone else before, I measured everything. What do you want to measure? In truth, there is nothing to measure. And it changes, everything changes everything. And it will have more and more examples defined by our friends, brothers and sisters, children, relatives who live without being able to express words. As I said, I realized in my family, in my own family, people who, overnight, well, live this indescribable love. They cannot put words, they are simply obliged to see that everything changes, that everything has changed since that moment and, often, as our friend has said, it is for people who are inserted into life, inserted into the theater scene and they convince themselves to be the character and for them there are, in addition to the lie, the greatest opportunity to live directly and instantaneously is the truth because they have no prerequisites, they have no projection except to live, if possible, life more harmonious. They are, as you say, rich people who are inserted in society, the basic needs, which we call Maslow's Pyramid, are satisfied. They have no anxiety for their lives, for their finances. They have a very pleasant life and even within this materiality, they discover the truth, I would say much more easily than all those who are inserted into projections of vibration, measurement, energy because we are in the world, observing interference, but we are not in the instant. As long as you need to measure, it means that you are still subject to fear, good and bad, unconsciously, even if you don't accept it, it can only be that way. It is explained by the reward and punishment circuits. There is only one who is in the spontaneity of his life, even the most material who does not believe in anything, will live it much more easily than we do. That is why I have always said that the ancients, the ancients like us, would be the last and the last would be the first. It is not a hierarchy or a notion of values. It is a temporary notion that is only temporary, only linked to the illusion of time flowing and, of course, to who they are and, we have the same, to our med speech as an artist who is absorbed in the absolute when he paints, and who he says to himself. It is not I who paints, it is done by itself. Of course, there was technical learning. It is the same for an osteopath. We must know the bones. It was necessary to study. At one point, we let that go. That's what I told you. In the crystal formations, I spent ten days teaching them kekras, crystals, tricks, planes, supplements and the last day, once this learning has been done, I show them that it is enough to have ten stones, deposited anywhere and it will work the same way. But we had to go through that. And it is that the people they have not had to happen, because they are totally inserted in the dream, they do not ask questions about other dimensions, the energies, the vibration, the, tomorrow later they are in their life simply and it is in living their life, even the simplest and most materialistic, because you will find it more easily today. Come on, we continue, we pass the microphone. Sister, it's always hard for me to put words. There is a deep peace and then I am there, to observe, see and life, those moments where there is availability, then again it is the moment when there is, I do not feel more available from the same way so I really refine this availability and then to see if it crosses me more or less easily. So, there is still this, the reception, the acceptance, 
The embrace, yes, I embrace and there is not much, that's all. Then, it remains, but it is precisely when you say the game of reception or non-reception that you discover the superiority in quotation marks of the reception. Sister, but here and at the same time, I feel. Finally, everything is there. Yes, yes. There is no more, sister. There is still this deed piece and there, there it embraces. Finally, there is a state that remains anyway, this is what we call crossing, you know, first there was the face to face between the ephemeral and the eternal and then, there was the crossing and the crossing phase, of in fact, even if we have not completely gone through it, as you express, we can only see that it is there. Of course, you can put in awkward situations, but it is like that, participate in acceptance, that is, non-acceptance, the non-crossing creates the crossing. It puts you in a state of availability for yourself, even for your suffering, even for your pain, even for your feeling of incompleteness. You see, lighting is that too. And from the moment it begins to be seen, even if it is not crossed, the crossing is made. And the more you remember to see it and not deny it, it is there, it is there and well, it is right there that it will be resolved. That is, it's your scenario, everyone has a different scenario, but the result of this scenario is always the same, it's the end of the stage. Sister, at the same time, play inwardly with that. There are situations in which I no longer know. When we had been, when we returned from the airport, we were in a car and then, I had the tendency to sleep and in a moment, I just opened my eyes to see, because we had difficulties, to continue with another car. I was sleeping, I just opened my eyes to see that the other car was on the road and our driver had not seen it. I just opened my eyes when it was necessary to capture this information to give it to the other person and, in fact, play after that with those moments of availability. It's part of the synchronicity, the fluidity of unity, sister, that's it. Finally all of these concepts, all these experiences that we have had for many years, Sister, that's it. That, today, they will find their application, if I can say it, in the most common facts. Sister, that's it. Because it is ordinary, it is not something extraordinary. Thank you. So. Sister, what are you saying? I will try to keep silent. Biodiscord, Biodis last intervention was for me, knock me out, knock me out for a day or two. You didn't have to listen to me, I didn't move, nothing. Paulette had no voice. Sister, I no longer had a voice, laughs, it was great and since this morning, there are things that happen to my conscience that have no tail or head that I perceive that I live and pass. This morning, she began to find me in, I was awake anyway, in consciousness, to go down to the water and enter a whale. I didn't want to go into the water saying, I can't breathe in the water. It was my brain that said that and suddenly, poof. I felt my heart in that of the whale and I swam for a while as well as the whale. I told him, well, then, if the stories come back, then we argue with Jean, who told me. This is not a story, it is the lived experience of one of the instants, primordial. And then, during the meal, always after a great moment in which nothing happens, where you are simply at reception, I don't know, there is a story. The elevator that came to remind me of the memory was not the memory of a couple of friends who lost a beheaded child as a result of a locked in an elevator, wanting to pass the grid and then the elevator starts again, well, something horrible and then there is our sister, Francois, who came to help me and I felt these two beings, the father and mother, who were in my heart and Francoise with her movements that she has, she helped that, they both broke free of this terrible nightmare of their lives. I thank you at that level and I think they will thank you too and then keep it up. I leave one thing, it is a great moment of silence, there is another that happens, it goes away and then another, that is what I am having fun with. Thank you. Sister, I have nothing to say because I am often absent, I do not know where I am and that I am awake or that I sleep I often move, well, I land from time to time and it is good like this. My mind plays trips in my brain. It tells me stories without a head and they leave, it's good that way.
And then, I loved life more and more with nature and with friends and that's it, it's wonderful. Yes, that's what we say. A gate reunions are holidays with friends. Sister, that's it. That's it, find yourself. It is extraordinary, that's all. Because it creates a resonance of... Sister, yes. This is called the whole of the heart, resonance of the agape network, it is the fact of being together to participate. The moments of confinement of some in that kitchen like everything we live, not only the channelings or the things we do at night or listening to Bidi or another, participate in the same party, is part of the same party because we saw it yesterday making the paintings, it's something very simple, three, three is everything, three graphics like that and I guarantee you that the brothers and sisters who saw what we did may seem childish, but that's amazing what it throws, what? It is the truth, it is the truth. Sister, it's clear, agape. Agape, then we draw everything with a single stroke. In fact, it is not the line that matters, it is the intention of freedom that brought the line. It is beautiful, not beautiful, it means nothing. So, what emanates is not simply, it depends, whether it is something that is given, that one receives. It no longer depends on a particular color of the graphic, but it is a set that is beyond manifestation, even if it manifests itself through a canvas that brings us back, whether we want it or not, to this simplicity, to this joy as you say. We know that it is a dream and, paradoxically, to know that it is a dream and, in quotes, that is wrong, that is where we are most alive and that is where it is really an enjoyment. I, every time I organize a reunion, it is a pleasure, it is not to teach as before where we are going to receive, I do not know how many hours of thousands, of thousands of pages of teaching. It is a moment of celebration. That's exactly how I see it and that's exactly how it works every time. Whatever the country, whatever we do. If I take the example of Belgium, we have done many things. Everything becomes a pretext for the celebration. We are witnessing events but incredible. There were some who lived yesterday in the car with Kale who died of laughter. We live it in the sketch. In addition, there are some elements that we film. The parody between Daniel and the brewer who imitated the brewery. It was a moment of unimaginable laughter. We had the impression of living a sketch. That is, now we are ready to celebrate all circumstances. Everything is a pretext for living joy. Even in events that at first sight are a bit limiting like confinement in an empty kitchen. Laughter. Thank you. Sister. Yes, good for me, what there is is the sight that is automatic, that is done alone and I don't know if it's because it was at the end of the month, yesterday. On the 31st, during his satsang, I disconnected the word at a given time, and what was there is that the more the truth is revealed and the oblivion of the ephemeral is automatically made. And I also remembered the fight with, here, the ephemeral and then that the ephemeral gives me a little, what to do and then there, this feeling that the ephemeral is forgotten. And I also remembered the fight with, here, the ephemeral, and then that the ephemeral gives me a little, and what to do, and then the feeling that, well, the ephemeral is forgotten, 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 and everything is crumbling, and everything is lived in this simplicity, and that is automatic. That is the automatism. This is a show's famous silence, laziness. Sister, yes, that is. What nice are they are called divine indifference. Sister, that's it, it's new, it's there. It is a joy. Sister, and that's why there is a smile. This smile has been fulfilled, something that has stopped and who has seen, and who also sees all these famous cycles, of which Kudra spoke, I see my anger, I see my denial, I see my depressions, I see my wanderings, which I call my wanderings, and suddenly, everything is seen and everything is accepted, and then this is achieved, but there is also this joy, everything is beautiful, everything is perfect. It is grace, 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 grace. Other sister, thanks. How to say, see you through the round things, it's a bit strange. Laughter. Laughter. Other sister, that's good, it's a halo. Laughter.
This is the first time we see you in the flesh. Sister. Hum. I have the impression of having gone through my life a bit like a comet, and for me it was a recent event to accept the unacceptable. Mom left a short time ago, and when my little brother called me, I was in Paris, so, oof, it's an abyss that opened, so I regained consciousness, quickly took a ticket from plane to return. It was a stroke and I could accompany him for a few weeks, and finally, paradoxically, there was a great joy that settled between her and me, it was full of gratitude because she waited, all this sweetness that she gave me to get used to, and everything I could do with her, since I had been very busy in my business and since 2012 I had a little more time, I had to do many things with her. India, Brazil, I took her to Canada, we shared many things, I took her to the ashram, I forced her to do many things she didn't know, and suddenly there, there was really all this gratitude to the funeral that was, it was like a wedding, it was a party, it's a real party. Since then I have the impression that she is always there, that it inflates my heart like a hot air balloon, it brings me, it brings me a lot. Here I could accompany my brothers and sisters, and, well, even if we brought her home, even in her bed, I smiled, I, mom, another selfie, it was completely delusional, but there was that joy, yes, who was there, who has been there since then. Even when we discover the truth, it is also an emotion, it is very powerful. Sister, yes, there were tears, but there was joy. Even in the church, when I spoke, I felt that something happened, how strong. Ready. When I looked up, there in the audience, I felt that, everything was, what, everything was unified, everything was at peace. That is all. Thank you. Sister. But for me, in general, it is a little permanent feeling of grace that I have, where everything is fair and perfect as Baida said, but it is so obvious that, here, it is a bit as if I floated in one, how say, in the ether. Other sister, in a space, in an integrity, I would say, in an integrity where, that is in silence, presence, is the same. Silence is presence, presence is silence, it is infinite what, there is an infinite thing, but where there is no difference between, between, yes, inside, outside, silence, presence, everything is the same, I cannot dissociate that it is what differentiates as you say, I take advantage, is that at the time, for the ancients, we always had experiences, that too, sister, yes, yes, while there, no. Now, it grows, it grows, it grows and it is, sister, and it stays, and it stays, it stays there. Sister, yes, that is, that is magical, sister, yes, since we no longer have to worry about anything, they are permanent vacations, what, we don't think of anything, even I say, oh, I would have to call him, I should notice, no, I don't notice and then come back. Well, pff. We have nothing else to do, why, that's really cool, and that's really funny. It's funny, sister. Yes. Thank you. Another sister. Yes, it is a bit like that in everyday life, in everyday life. It is wonderful, because everything is managed alone. Just think of something, and it happens, things happen, that's it, there is almost nothing to manage, everything comes, there are exceptional synchronies. It's extraordinary because, just think of one thing and then forget about it, and after a while it comes up like this. And there we make the link, we tell ourselves. Ah, well, here it is, yes, I needed it, and it happens. And then through encounters with unknown people, and suddenly we meet people we didn't expect, and there are exchanges that are exceptional, in words, in small things. That is also exceptional. Ready. Thank you. Other sister. For me, I find myself a little in each of the testimonies, there are identical things in each and every one of you. There I find myself in this reunion, it is something wonderful because I live what, what life is for me, it is really, we are still in the ephemeral, but it is it is something extraordinary. Acceptance, well, I have it, it seems obvious to me all the time, on the other hand, it is a little more difficult in the family context, when I am, I feel a little submerged, suffocated. 
so I ended up accepting the two, which could be so. And then, well, here it is, it's not always easy, but a lot of love arises, it's fine. But finally, it is true that it is even easier when I am alone, it is evident. Finally easier and, more and less, is very curious as, there is a mixture. Well, there are many things, synchronicities, well, I saw a lot for a long time, but it's fun because we see things, we marvel again, noticing the other. On the contrary, I don't have much more to say. It is already very good. Thank you. Another sister. I noticed one thing and it came this morning is that since I was ad, since I started with ad, but everything is simplified. We will have nothing to do, because everything is there. And when we have nothing to do, everything, we will have achieved everything, and well, we will leave, well, but that is something else. And, what is important, and precisely I have my inner child who tells me, good words, 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 but in fact, it is to let go, let go of all that, let go of everything he has was ephemeral, all that was our life where we cling to many things, to be someone. And that is not true, we are nothing at all. And as you say, the more loose the ephemeral, the lighter it is, the more, it is, sister, here, exactly. But there is also that grace of the light that is there. Then the light that brings us joy, which brings us love, and everything seems very simple, and everything is simple, it is not the same, everything is simple, because everything is written, what it must be to live now is inscribedness. If we do a little household chores, if we disappoint, all that, we hang up to be someone in society, well, well, I hope we find it. You see, sometimes we lock someone in the kitchen, because he is going to talk too much. Laughter. Sister. Well, well, here we go, the intelligence of the light is very important, we have to let it go. Here, I kiss you all, I kiss you all. Laughter. Then, yes, but I get angry, it's true, sometimes I get angry, but it feels good. Oh yes, oh yes, as if he had a whittle that exploded, dad, then, he, in short, cleaned himself up, now, we can start over. Laughter. You're absolutely right, and here I am going to say one word is that we are not to blame for emotions, whatever they may be. If we are sad, we are sad. If one is angry, one is angry. If we are in joy, we are in joy. It is part of the acceptance, because it happens, we realize that emotions do not stop us. Sister, absolutely. But emotions, but it is a stain, is something that dragged us. All these emotions must be abandoned. Also, they tell me that I am indifferent, but I don't care. I don't care, think what they want. I'm good like that, the light, I was swept away by that, that emotional, as I am Italian, it is very very strong, you see, well that is all, I passed this emotional, and it is very very good. Thank you. Laughter. Brother, my current state, in all my life, I have been very lazy, well, I should let the light guide me, it shows me when something is wrong, don't do it. That fits me very well. As I often want to let things happen or not reach the end, for lack of consistency, but now it completely takes away my guilt, so everything is fine. Then there is the matter of the body, I consider it a bit like a partner, so I apologize, I often apologize to him for taking him to places where he was treated like a bag of meat, laughs, brother. And that is correct. He accompanies me well. If I have to make physical efforts, I say, well, I want you to know, I say, well, there is little time, some time to do, whether you are, for example, on skis or walking in nature, I tell you it is a bit long, it will be exhausting but you see, immediately, it is better, it takes me, it takes me to the end, it brings me back, at least, if I was a little far, and everything is going well. It is as if I had senses and plugs according to what I have to do. So here it is. But, on the other hand, I am not well in the cities but in the forest, in the water or in the crystallized water like snow, then there, I am happy, there, I live my, one realizes that the city is a confinement it is clear. 
in the forest, in nature, in the water, one is free. Because we are inserted in nature. That is the natural state too. Brother, yes, but there, I feel that I am in that frequency or in the place where I have to be. That is why I said that I cannot, that we cannot always be in the same place, at the same frequency or wavelength that we want, but when I am in this wavelength of nature, or other things, it is a work but, from the nature, in the water is wonderful or in the snow, in weightlessness, going down, I'm happy, that's all. And I try to please myself. Everything that does not suit me, I try to avoid it. All my life I have tried not to suffer, but here I try to be in good, in happiness. My conscience too, I consider it as a partner, I try to do things that are not contrary to my conscience, to have a bad conscience. You realize that by expressing how you express yourself, you have clearly differentiated the body, consciousness and you. As he says, there, today, in the present instant, he speaks well of his conscience. It means that you are no longer identified with your consciousness, that you are no longer identified with your body, and yet, as you said, these are your expressive vehicles. Brother, but I want to be good to him because I realize that if I am not good with him, I will suffer. Laughter Brother, and right now, I am eating too much and I am not good in my body sometimes, so I negotiated a little with him. I tell him, I'm going to make efforts and everything but good. They are your vehicles. They are your vehicles. Thank you. Next. Brother, thanks. Sister, I, to testify to my experience of acceptance, is not possible in words. It would be a video but, bug. Laughter. Sister, you will do that? Yes, you prefer to do that with gestures. Sister, but I can speak of acceptance in relation to an experience. Exactly ten years ago, I was doing my first seminar with that, it was at the end of 2009. Good. Sister, and there, the acceptance of the way I live, I remember it very well. Sister, the acceptance of the group was not at all, at all, because she was not there. She didn't do it at all. It took nine years, that's all, I came back. Nine years later, it was no longer a problem. Because ten years ago, I was already in this way of being. So, that is a kinesthetic way of living the light. And, ten years ago, we were not at the stage when the group could accept it. And today it is, and I thank you very much. Therefore, we will not go back to the details of this town in 2009, where, in fact, it was there. I remember it like it was yesterday. Where, in fact, there was a real and concrete form of rejection, because there was a misunderstanding. It was absolutely true. Totally true. And I remember very well the extremely violent scenes that had happened at that time. Sister. I was also in total misunderstanding, there was a mutual misunderstanding. Sister, that's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We will not return on the details but... Sister, no, but it's great. Yes, it's true, it's true. Sister, finally, it also proves that it takes time. It takes time it takes time to give time to time to find the zero time. Sister. That's it. So now I am, and now, no problem. And I appreciate it. Sister, there is something new for two days, in any case, much clearer. It is one, there is the black void, which is there permanently, and there is another timeline in front of where I see life as a great sketch. And, when I compare with before, in fact, I mix the two. I thought the sketch was part of me, while the sketch is completely out of who I am and who we are. Then, there is a space that has been established between this state of great silence and parody. And I asked myself before, many questions about suffering. Because lately, I have lived great moments of suffering again and I thought, I was returning to the states of before. I thought for a moment that they were memories. 
And, in fact, I realize that from the moment I begin to believe that it is me, the suffering is accentuated and when I simply let this state of suffering take place without making any personal annotation, it disappears, lasts much less and disappears in this completely neutral and welcoming state. The new thing is also that I thought we should always be in a state of joy, and in fact, well, no. There is a completely neutral and open state and total peace. Where sometimes, even joy is not there, joy is there as soon as one has to manifest in parody. As soon as we get to the sketch there, it's a joke. Ready. And also, I see all these last months since everything has been organized in a beautiful way despite myself. And even, I was able to attend this reunion when I had no money. And I don't have, thanks to the donations of the brothers and sisters who were there, while, here it is, I give thanks for being there, in the big sketch. Laughter. In a moment, you had an expression that I liked, you called it cute, no. Sister. As soon as I get angry, I see a monkey. Yes. Laughter. Sister. The monkey is falling asleep. Yes. But it was the monkey, the image of the monkey, that is exactly. We are singing for others, it was not for nothing that we use this expression. But we do it with that. And I also like what you say, that is, joy, for those who still do not live it, imagine that we are all the time in joy, no. Joy, can be interior and silent. We observe the sketch or the theater scene, but we are no longer fooled. And that is the natural state. This naked joy, whether it is shown on the monkey or not, is there. She will be there, even if we play the sketch, that's the fantastic thing. And that too, promotes the permanence of this natural state, as they say. Thank you. Brother, they don't fool me anymore, it's getting stronger in my life. And I am in a state of peace right now. I have no project, I do not regret it, I let it go and I see around me many people who wake up and ask the meaning of certain things. Brother, oh yes. But that is wonderful. Before it was once every three months and again. And it was always the same thing that came back, for the moment, it updates very quickly. I think, that's what I said. In the family, everywhere, in the races. We can only notice this awakening. Brother, that is. It is undeniable, brother. And, we must not, how to say, give too much information, of things, because we often encounter the other's mind. Sure. Brother, so, you have to be, how to say it, welcome. Brother, cozy, yes, then he returns to his way of seeing. Perhaps he gives the words that, for the person, are the most intelligible that is to say and then release them. In fact this is a constant. It happens everywhere, you see it in all sectors, in all areas. We're in the phase of this collective awakening, completely. Brother, that is. Even if everyone positioning is still not perfectly correct. And as we see in the social scene, well, there are people who express it as they can, because they don't have the ins and outs, but it's an awakening nonetheless. Even if it goes through revolutions, even if it goes through wars, it doesn't matter, it is parody, as our sister said, that is played. And here too, it puts us in acceptance, does not reload the other references and welcoming, resonates. In addition to our ability to welcome each other, even in their inconsistencies, but they are, somewhere, in a form of availability. And if we welcome them, as you say, without overloading them, well, it's over. They will live joy, like everyone else. Brother, that is. I had two problems to solve. Yes. Brother, yes. The first is a matter of time. Knowing that, it changes very quickly, why anticipate certain things? You're right. Brother, it's fine. And, by the force of things, it was still necessary for it to enter the game a bit, if only to take a ticket. You're right. Brother, and secondly, as a teacher, knowing, everything I'm going to say is wrong. Laughter and applause. Brother, I'm fine, I have to stop. 
So, in fact, there is demand. Yes, there will be more and more. Brother, yes. But it is your presence that will be important. He will no longer be teaching. Brother, and that reinforced me. It is the presence, it is the intelligence of the light that, in fact, does its job. Sure. It is not lost. Everything you've learned, everything you deliver is magnified. You see, we transcend techniques, we even transcend the notions from teacher to student, where the other is recognized in resonance. And knowledge, the practice you teach is just an alibi. On the contrary, please, that's what I've always said. Brother, yes, in the experience, it allowed me to pass a certain number of feelings, however, that is, for example, the fusion. Fusion is the loss of the identity of a structure. It merges with another but, when it goes through what has been experienced, when one is, for example, a practitioner and a patient and no longer has a barrier between the two. Something that flows smoothly and with that feeling of joy. Here, fluidity, joy, lightness. Yes, the word fluency, which appears. I specify, for listeners, that you teach osteopathy. This, in fact, is the feeling. But even through feeling, even if it is, in quotes, illusory, when you agree to play the sketch, be completely immersed without suffering, well, we can play all the sketches we want. That is, we are no longer deceived. Brother, of course. Do not be fooled anymore. And here we go from teaching, from communication to what is called resonance and acceptance. And we unleash that on the other, because the other can only recognize himself. What happens through osteopathic contact, what happens in a math class, what happens in anything? That is fundamental, brother, of course. The different ways, that is, whether it is a math teacher, or someone, at any time, we reach the same peak. Of course, of course. Brother, and that is yes. That is what Kaled, our plastic artist, said. Brother, oh yes. When he made our canvas. The day before, he told me about the absolute without knowing what it was. Brother, exactly. He said, when I paint, I'm not there anymore. It is done without him. However, he learned technical mastery, you see. And that's the fantastic thing, when you're in a role, you also disappear, and there, at that moment, it appears. That is why it is spreading everywhere. There are people, as we have seen, with the examples we have just made, with the children of our sister, who, however, had materiality, strictly speaking, there is no negative notion there. Even here, it is unmasked. If we are authentic, we have nothing to stop. Neither teach, nor see our family, nor a profession, nor anything, on the contrary. On the contrary, if we accept that we are there, even in family problems, that's why. This is also, as you say, fluency and acceptance. We don't have to judge where we are since we wrote it. Where the suffering, if it is a family problem, an emotional problem, loneliness, a parakia, a backache, anything. We're in this type of acceptance. It's as simple as that. And when we start living, well, there is no limit. Of course, we all ask ourselves the question, at any given time, well, if it is useless or an illusion, I continue or stop. No, on the contrary, on the contrary. Because here you're authentic, you have seen it. From the moment it was seen, it was, in quotes, illusory, however, it is the only real thing. And that is self-sufficient. It is in this real, in our occupations, our functions, social, family or other that is performed. Everything is in its right place. And so, accepting that this is in its proper place, we realize that this is the intelligence of light that changes things. We do not have to interfere. As our brother said just now, it is this kind of laziness, our bag of meat or our temple or our conscience, they are there, it is necessary to use it. We don't have to reject them, we don't have to condemn them. Emotions is the same. We accept being in joy, we accept being in sadness, anger and others, but we no longer allow ourselves to be deceived. 
And here too, it is part of the acceptance process. Welcoming what we are, above all, allows us to welcome each other. Brother, there is another point? Yes, go ahead. Brother, very important is to change your point of view, it has taken a large scale. For example, a person who, for example, as a result of a treatment, there is a pile of waste that is released, which increases pain and symptoms. Yes. Brother, explaining that this is a cleaning phase, well, changing the point of view, he says that the pain is fine. Yes, but the urine becomes a little darker, it may take time, etc. It means that the body does housework. So that he says, yes, seen this way, it's better. He accepts it more. There was acceptance too. That is, all humanity, all creation, returned to this collective phase of acceptance. It is not an individual mechanism, at first, yes, it has been individual. But the information, what I call the good news, is so accessible from everywhere, that it is enough, as you say to change its tone, simply, accept here also to see things differently and acceptance, in the most archetypal sense. It is obvious. And at the time, crossing is by itself. Brother, there is another experience, very important, when we enter the tissues, we find places where there is a lot of resistance sure. Brother, changing places, instead of staying there. Enter the aura, enter another space, relativize and at that moment, we feel the resistance that dissolves. You live under your fingers. Yes. And that corresponds to what we call a neuroscience, uh, the complaint theory. Everything you object is crystallized. It goes very far, because even the diagnosis is crystallizing. And the fact, as you say, of moving from the canvas to another plane, is enough to free the crystallization. It is, in a way, a change of view, but it is a blur. Consciousness always works by focusing on what is perceived. When you blur, you are free. It's as simple as that. And things are done alone. In any case, they are simpler. Brother, there is another way of seeing. Where there is a consequence, a density, etc. Try to connect it with its cause. To one that is on another vibratory level, connecting them to both at the same time, immediately, there is resonance. This is what I call resonance, for lack of another term. Maybe there is a better word than that, but it is no longer an explanation. Even if we return to the cause, we establish resonance, we establish freedom, simply by blurring. And you see it elsewhere, in your exercise, professional, in quotes, it is evident, it is evident that it happens like this, at all levels. Brother, to see the ethereal, you have to blur. Yes, it is that. That is to say, that the point of view, that is to say the development, with a camera, is the best example that I have. Before, it developed, and there, by making things blurred, they become clearer. That is to say, it corresponds to the theory of the complaint, one is less focused, one is less in the causality and, nevertheless, one solves the cause. It is done alone. There is no one, however, there must be actors on stage. So wait, someone wants to say something. Go ahead, I'll pass it on. Sister, yes, at the same time there is this forgetfulness of the ephemeral. Since many people have memory loss, there is more and more Alzheimer, and this blur is also this forgetfulness. Where well, we forget to do things or not is so important and everything. Then, at the same time that we had forgotten who we were, our truth, now oblivion is ephemeral, and we remember it. Then, this type of boom, shook. It is this inversion also, at the level of oblivion, of the initial memory. We talk about it saying that we all become a little dwarf as long as we lose our memory, we disappear but the intelligence of the light is there to tell you, hey, oh. As our sister told us yesterday, hey, oh. You forgot that. Oh yes, it is to say that really, when we said that the intelligence of the light took over our life, since we have the intelligence of the light, everything we express, everything, is the same thing. 
This blur makes it possible to see the truth, and to live the truth especially. And it is like that for everyone. Regardless of the sector again, be it family, physical suffering, teacher or mother, it is exactly the same theater scene that takes us back. To the truth, sister, and it's in the drill, I found it funny, they call it the Joker. And he is everywhere. Laughter. The Joker, hey. Sister, yes, but acceptance is a blur. Of course, of course. It is to leave the limited point of view, the limited understanding, the character. He is letting the character play life. As our brother said right now, when he says, my conscience, my body. Who says that, except the one who is the eternal being? Before, remember, in 2009-2010, we were all identified with our minds. We could not understand what it meant to surrender to the light, since we were looking for light. Gradually, all Enel's teachings came true. And today, when they said yes, we had to be lazy, for example, well, we have the demonstration. No longer as a concept, energy or vibration, but in everyday life, in the experience of each moment. And it takes more and more space, it is normal and more and more time. So, this is a progression in which we can only recognize this joy, even if it is not omnipresent, because I do not want listeners to think that, when we live this naked joy, we have 24 hours 24 hours in this naked joy, it is wrong. There are moments, there is anger, there are times when there is suffering, there are times when there is pain, but we are no longer fooled. We totally accept to interpret the character when we see him, we are the observer, but we even see who is looking at the observer. That is what Morris said before, through my conscience yes, and my character, my body. Who says that except the one who is the eternal being? While before we were fully identified with the body or consciousness. Then, literally, at the now much more collective level, move on to this blur or decrystallization to have, in fact, this global and panoramic view that everything was a parody. To take the word you used. But, that was an integral part of the parody. And that there can be no rejection, because as soon as there is rejection, there is suffering. We all see that. It is the acceptance that creates the resolution. And nothing changes because, for the ego, it will say yes, but then. You, as you just said, I will not be able to teach, because what I teach is wrong. It is not an excuse. And this pretext is precisely the fault in which you are the best. Others will be in the family, others will be free to travel, here or be themselves. No matter. There are innumerable scenarios, but they all converge, all towards this zero time, in every possible way. We see it, as we have said, through the galaxies that are absorbed in the black hole. We see it in everything he has expressed, everything we have expressed one and the other. It is not the prerogative of a teacher or some beings, we all love it. The words we use, of course, are different because we don't have the same content in our head. But it is the same. It's the same and when we are together, physically or instantly, from a distance, but physically, well, we can only let that be so. That's it. And in that moment, everything becomes fun, everything becomes easy. Even the confinement scenes of some become a nameless comic. Even yesterday, those who got lost in the car, have fun. Everything is experience, but we are no longer obliged to experiment and accept all experiences. Oh, of course, sometimes it remains, in a slightly emotional state, but we go through it, as you said, the emotions are there, we are no longer deceived, we no longer refuse, we no longer feed them, we let them go through. They are part of the parody, they are part of the scenario, they are part of the script. Sister, and it was a gift yesterday. Ah yes yes. Sister, it was a gift for us. Sister, it was fun, we took it like this, we saw landscapes that we had not seen. Ready. It was really fun because every time we asked, it was always more, more, more. Well, here you go. No, it's great. So, what I propose to you, maybe it is, oh well, we don't take a break, it's noon. 
Do you want us to resume or stop now? Brother, wait, I would like to say one more thing. At work, finally, at work, I witness the unity of things. For example, if only within the framework of a body, to be at the level of the patella, at the level of the procardium, at the level of the head, one has access to all the rest. And that, by extrapolating, that we are here, we can be in connection with the entire planet and beyond. Always in a sector. I say everything is in everything, as it is in nothing. Brother, that is. I believe that, but, how to say it, it's practical, it's not just theory, it's experience. Ready. There is nothing more real in this subtle. What used to be called the subtle, the invisible. And totally, that is the intelligence of light, that is the primordial ether. Simply, now, it is revealed because there is no fragmentation, there is no more primary anomaly, there are no more veils, it is really accessible to all. Brother, and through that, one more thing. When we say that we are in each other. Right. Well, in the body, for example, if there is, for example, an area where it does not circulate well. For example, the blood flow that does not feed a sector well, if one connects to the blood, I wonder if it circulates everywhere. We immediately identify areas that have low energy. And that is true for a hormone, that is true for everything that exists. That is unity. Each frequency must be found anywhere in the created one. Right. It is because we have access to the primordial ether and zero time that we now realize and live it. Brother, of course. You can confirm that it was not livable before, it was more complicated. Now, it appears alone. Brother, simpler. Yes. Alone and simple. Brother, Jean look. Yes. Brother, Annie, just now, I wanted, wait, I'm turning the, brother, Annie wanted to lost her turn, can you change your mind, maybe? Who? Brother, Annie. Sister, no. Go back to your kitchen. Sister. And so, it is because we have access to this ether and zero time that all therapies are revealed for the body, the cures, all that. Because it has revelation at all levels. The revelation concerns all planes, absolutely. In addition to the elite confinement, pedophilia, satanism, all those things, if you want it is what has always been said, that is, everything had to be fully illuminated. Once everything is illuminated, everything disappears. There is no reason to be. Sister, that's it. Everything is absorbed. Everything is absorbed. And resorption is through consciousness. And it is consciousness that ends consciousness, not research. Sister, me, there are two things. There is the blur, but he has been talking to me since you said that word because, before, I always had the feeling that I could stick to the story and that I could take off and there, since the installation of this great silence, I see that my conscience is completely out of focus and that there, I see everything, from the great silence. Who is there, permanently and that is where we are all. But there is another testimony that I would like to make is that the other time he spoke, he explained how the phenomenon of Agape's resonance was. Yes. Sister, that will be transmitted there, soon. And it enlightened me and I have a ball in my arm for a year, that is, and it had grown significantly in recent times. And when I got here, it bothered me, it hurt and you told us that, Agape's resonance, you had to take a little time, that there were 48 hours. And so, since we did this resonance at night, in space, I had pain, it bothered me and today, I see that the ball has been cut in half. The miracle is almost instantaneous, it will be increasingly instantaneous. At all levels. As the other said, we will die cured. Sisters and brothers, in full health, in full health. Then we listen to you. Sister. I would like to talk about our sister, who explained her malaise of bad acceptance ten years ago. I was present and I would like to apologize to her. She had understood, I didn't understand her and wanted to apologize for that. Sorry. Ah, you were there too. Oh yes to all saints, yes yes all saints day 2009. In fact, 
Ten years later, there are some who were there. Laughter. That is the great forgiveness. Sister, the word blur is really what I live. Yes, that's what I found. The camera, we are developing it. Sister, that's it. And that changes everything. Everything is done in a fluidity. Yes, it is a relaxation, we will say. Sister, wonderful. All. Words come like this. I mean, I never think about what I will say, never, never, never. Sister, I, I also teach, I have also taught, and it is increasingly common that there is silence, I no longer know what to say. I'm waiting, and that's it, now I say well, I'm waiting and everything comes back. Absolutely, it is the experience we had before Gape resonated the other time, when we did the afternoon satsang, which they have not yet had, where we told them, we're the space. It is a blur. Sister, that's it. There is no need to ask the question of spread consciousness, vibration, go here or do that or go up in vibrations, we get out of focus, that is, we remain silent and the crossing is done alone. But that would not have been possible again, two or three years ago. This is only possible now. Sister, absolutely. That is the good news. Well thanks. We do a, we stop recording, come on. Through Jean Luca Young. Les Transformations. English Translation. LMF.